Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Despite the fact that generator is going flat out, I've got no power in the batteries. So we're, yeah, we're, we're running out of power all over. I'll wait until all of those are built before I do anything different on that, but... Another generator is probably going to be my main priority over here. I don't want to go that way any further because of the pollution that we've got over here with the, um, with all of this. I kind of want to wait until I've advanced a little bit before I start worrying about that. So I'm going to dig this, but I'll wait until we've done that before I worry too much about the coal generator. I've got various different bits are working. I'm now... Duplicate skills right in here. Joshua, your morale is still way down. Ellie's morale is also down. She's got all of the... She's already got all of that. She's got critter ranching. Critter wrangling. Grooming station usage. But her morale is down as well, so I'm not going to go with her morale. Uh, choose a blueprint in here. Do I get another one? Do I go for a care package with some briar seeds? The seed of a bluff briar. Uh, a little bug-eyed drecklet. In time it will mature into a fully grown dreco. That's another farming thing. Or I could go for yet another duplicate. I think we're doing alright. I think we could actually get another one of these. This is increased medicine and increased science, which would be good. Uh, increased excavation. Cannot do attacking. Increased air consumption rate. You're a vomiter and you're a vomiter as well. I don't want vomiters as stress reactions because they've got potential for polluting stuff. So I think we will go with a briar seed care package. I will print that one out. Briar seed care package right there. I've almost finished digging everything out now. I say almost. Uh, everybody go in and attack that thing right there. Take him down. Fan schmastic. And then you. I, I don't know what to do about you. Uh, we, we well. Research. What have I got? I haven't finished researching yet. I, I've, I've got to wait until I've finished the researching completely before I can go and set the next one going. And I'm going to try and research something to do with the critter farming, I think. If I can find something connected with critter farming, we may be able to benefit from this. You've got... You need slime to be able to grow, so the dust cap can just stay right where it is and not do anything. Another thing that I need to do... Because we need to change some of that over. That's something that I've been meaning to do for absolutely ages, but I haven't done yet. I've got an electrolyzer, algae terrarium, rusty oxidizer, food, farm tile, planter box, ration box. No, I don't want any of them. Refinement, compost bin. That's what I want. I want to build a compost bin right in there. And I'm going to build another compost bin right in there, which will be able to take the polluted soil that we've got in here and turn it into decent soil. So we'll let them finish building. I've got all of those storage bins over there still to do. That's fine. And then we will build all of these up so the oxygen will come up here and cycle around the entire base. And we're going to need them to put everything away as well. We've got vitamin chews. Oh, maybe... Right, medicine in here. Don't put medicine in that box. And that box, don't put medicine in there either. And come over here, base. General storage bin, food, electrical ration box. i got an egg cracker right there. Uh, ration box here. I'm going to put a ration box. Wait a minute, what's in that one? That's agriculture. Fertilizer and phosphorus going into that one. Right, I don't want to go into there. Uh, so I do want to go food. I'm going to go to a ration box. I don't want to put I want to put it over here. Put a ration box there. That one, I'm going to put the medicines into that box. Because they've now they've taken these tablets out, the curative tablets. Let them build that one. Are they going to build it straight away or are we waiting a bit? So we're, oh, no, no. She's, she's actually... No. Yeah, she's going to build it. 
Okay, there's a ration box right there, and that one is going to take medicines. All medicines will go into that box right there, which means that then we can just keep making medicines in there. And we don't need to worry about putting medicines anywhere else. Now, we have got an absolute mess of a base at the moment. It's a complete total pigsty right the way throughout. But it will soon be cleaned up. Now, you look in here. I've got one tile right there, which is now been completed. And then I've also got this lot right here. They're, they're busy digging and clearing it out. So we've already gone through everything in the middle on this one. I've got another one of those. That I want to go and attack on there. They go in and they attack there. So we've got a little bit of meat that will go down onto the grill. We dealt with down there. So what I want to do is I want to go to furniture. We want to go to a mess table. It gives one duplicate a place to eat. Duplicates will automatically eat at their assigned table when hungry. We've got a water cooler. A flower plant. A flower pot. Houses a single plant. Which so we see decrease, increases decor. Contributing to morale. Ice block. Uh, missing resources. Ice. We've got pedestals. Ceiling lights. Lamp. The cot right there so they can sleep on it. A mess table would probably help. Oxygen overlay power. What's over here? Room overlay. Dispel display special purpose rooms and bonuses. Miscellaneous room, no effect. Latrine, morale bonus. Washroom, morale bonus. So what do I class as a room? So I want to go to a washroom. Using a fully plumbed washroom will improve duplicates morale. Requirements, flush toilet, plumbed wash station, no outhouses, no industrial machinery, minimum size 12 tiles, maximum size 24 tiles. Morale plus two. Right. So, would that be classed as a room there, or do having ladders in between it? Oh. 368 tiles. This whole thing here is classed as a room, and then this one is 1,100. That's 176 tiles. I see. Right, so you've probably got a sealer in and have doors in between them. Bedroom. A single comfy bed, no cots, no industrial machinery, minimum 12, maximum 64, a decor item, minimum height 4 tiles. Now, I've got height of 4 tiles on just about everything. Barracks, single bed, no industrial machinery, a washroom with the flush toilet latrine, toilet wash station, mess hall, mess table, no industrial machinery. We've got mess table there. Maximum size 64 tiles. Morale plus 3. Great hall. Minimum size 32. Maximum size 120. Decor item plus 20 decor. Recreational building. For a great hall. Morale plus 6. That just says mess table, mess table. Bedroom is single comfy bed. Single bed for barracks. That is a cot, not a bed. So we need to change the bed. Stable. Grooming station, greenhouse, power plant. Right. Okay, I didn't know that this was even a thing. Like, I had no idea. Recreational building. Recreation room. I had absolutely no idea. So maybe we could build something like that in here or in, in, in this middle bit in here. I, I, I've got room to do one in here, I think. This would be barracks. A single bed. Bedroom, single comfy bed, no cots. That just says single bed in there. Let's go and have a look a second at the research in here. Medicine, solid materials, power, food, uh, liquids, gases, exosuit, suit, decor. Right there. Car uh, carpeted tiles. Uh, improves things. Fine art. Home luxuries. Plastic ladder. Increases duplicate climbing speed with a plastic ladder right on there. 
So where's the beds? Monument, new media. Pixels can be designated colour when receiving a green signal. Uh, right, well, I'm not going to worry about that then. I was expecting bed under decor. Rocketry. Computers. Well, there's there's nothing there. Uh, gases. Nope. Flow redirection here. That's liquids. Medicine. No, it's not coming in under there. Colony development. Sweepy dock. Automate and hammer. Solid material. Fire pole. Temp shift accelerates or buffers heat dispersal based on construction material. Smeltings. Ooh. Produces refined metals from raw metal ore. Power. No. Food. Right, so where's the comfy bed? It's supposed to be a comfy bed here somewhere. Textile loom. Large sculpting block. Blank canvas. Ah, comfy bed right there. Plastic tile, landscape, metal block. Right, I would assume, therefore, that the comfy bed is that one. Whereas a standard bed... I'm not quite finished the advanced research bit on here. So the standard bed would be acceptable for the room overlay. So we can make a mess hall, mess table... Oh, wait, mess table... See, I was wanting to make mess tables anyway, but we can change the bedroom. Single uh, barracks, that would be. Morale plus one. Single bed, no industrial machinery, minimum size 12 tiles, maximum 64. So if I was to change it over here, I want to remove that bed there. That one needs to be demolished, and I want to put the beds over here. You, that one right there. Uh, I want to get rid of that one. Right. Unfortunately, I did have to go and kill the shine bug. That wasn't very nice, but it needed to be done. Uh, you right there. I can't do anything with it, so I need to deconstruct that one. I need to deconstruct that one. I need to deconstruct that one. So I've got three cots that I need to build in here. I'm hoping this is going to work. One, two, three. That is all of my duplicates sleeping in the same room. But then I'm also going to be able to build a wall over on this side. So we go on to the base over here and I will build two bits of tile down to there. And we go to a pneumatic door. Use to build the walls. Uh, increases duplicate run speed. Decor plus five can be used to bridge gaps and to get unreachable. Oh, wait, no, this one. Um... Right there. Wild critters cannot pass through doors. Encloses areas without blocking liquid or glass flow. Manual airlock. Let's go with the manual airlock. Oops. Need to cancel the manual airlock. I can't put that one in there yet because they've got to go and build the other stuff. So we'll let them just remove those beds there. Those three beds are now gone. Then I can go into there and I can put a manual airlock on here like that. They can put that one in. That should then turn this into a separate room. I'm hoping it does. And then I've got three beds in there as well for duplicates to go and use. We'll also be able to get the rest of these items in here built. We've got the three beds in there built and I've now got... A manual airlock in here. Right, so then let's go to room overlay. This miscellaneous room. Maximum size, 64 tiles. Room size is 84 tiles. That does not work. So i got to make that room smaller. There is a way to do this. It's going to involve removing a couple more beds and just basically having people passing through one to the other. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We, so we've got ten duplicates in here at the moment. I'm going to need to destroy, deconstruct, one, um, two, ten. Right, that's not deconstructing. Extract pipe. Oh, it it has it has set them for deconstruct. 
I'll remove those five beds a minute. Right, now the beds are gone. Then I can go into base in here. And I can go tile down there and there like that. And I can go with another manual airlock door. Actually, no, I'm going to go with a pneumatic door this time. Just pop that one onto there. And that manual airlock, I want to deconstruct that one. And what I actually want to put there instead is another one of these. Uh, let's remove you a second. Pneumatic door, I want to put that one in tiny bit too late just a tiny tiny bit too late research has now been completed so we can go into here let, let me just click on that one i'll get you still a mechanical surfboard yes that's more like it right so now we want to go back into more research in here so i kind of want well, I'm going to need to work on more of this anyway. Textile loom, blank canvas, large sculpting block. I need to get these being happier. That's, that's what we need. We need happier duplicates. We need to work on morale a little bit. So we will work on morale. We might be able to get comfy beds. So that then we can work our way up to having individual rooms for the duplicates all the way through. Which I think could potentially be a really beneficial thing for us. Uh, we have got a whole load of duplicates sleeping on the floor at the moment because they don't have assigned beds or anything like that. There's a few of them are coming into their beds in order to be able to get their little bit of kip. Uh, the manual airlocks, we'll be able to get rid of those. That'll be fine. It's not going to make any difference. While I'm waiting, I'm going to go to you. I'm going to copy settings. And I'm going to apply those settings to all of those down through there. Then all we've got to wait for is that door has now been removed. I'll put a pneumatic door on there, which uh, allows the gas and liquids to run through. And I'm also going to want to build furniture in here. We're going to want cots there. I've got the mechanical surfboard that we'll be able to do something with. One, two, three, four, and five. Fantastic. Once they built those, then I have actually got a proper room in here. Uh, they are going to need to also build the, the ceiling up there. So you in here, well, it's not going to tell me yet. Wait a minute, I'll tell you what. Let's go here. So look at that. That's a room. Barracks, cot unassigned. Room size 40 tiles. Building 5. Requirements, single bed, no industrial machinery. Minimum 12, maximum 64. Morale plus 1 for sleeping in there. That is not a room yet. It is now, and it won't be once they dig that bit. That's going to like keep chopping and changing. So we've got assigned cots in there. We've got assigned cots in there. Next, the decor overlay right here. The light is good. The tiles are good. All of this rubbish that we've got all over the floor, that's really, really bad. Just generally speaking, that's really, really bad all the way through. But I've, I've now got these rooms in here. And they're just filling out the last little bits in there. So we'll let them go and do that. When I get another duplicate available, I will start to use him. I'd also like to start assigning bathrooms and things like that over here. I, I've got compost bins here now. That's that's another really good thing. We, we can start building some compost. Um, so mostly what I'm wanting to work on at the moment is keeping the duplicates as happy as possible. That sand there needs to be dug out. Get that bit out, and then they can pick stuff up. They'll be able to, like, uh... Colony achievement earned. What do we got? What do I get? Uh, good egg. Hatch a new critter morph from an egg. Okay. What have I hatched? I'm not actually sure what I've hatched. Something's hatched out. I have no idea what it is. Now what we're doing is we're picking up stone and sand. The oxalite has been removed from there. So I'm also going to just take off that little bit of algae up there as well. We've got both of the barracks in here. Very pleased by the fact that we've got barracks now. That's going to improve... No, oh, I was looking for this. The total what we've got for everything. Cooking ingredients, zero. 
Edible, 54,000 calories. I've got uh, a few of those in there. That's great. So I wanted this, but then I wanted to build a mess hall. And that's the, the next thing that I want to build. So, um... Minimum size 12, maximum size 64 tiles. Hmm. Default schedule downtime. Let me have a look in the research a second. Right, he's, he's doing the advanced research. So we'll have some carpets that we'll be able to put in in places. That's going to help them out a lot. They'll like that. We've got mechanized airlocks. Uh, insulated tiles. Build walls and floors of rooms reduces heat transfer, which is probably going to be a useful thing. It's temperature modulations, improved ventilations, distillation in there. Uh, no, it wasn't that that I wanted to get. There was something in particular that I wanted to get, and now I can't remember what it was. Uh, am I going to see it on here? I got agriculture up here. Oh, that's... Refrigerator stores food at an ideal temperature to stop spoilage. That's what I want. Hydroponic farm. Park sign. That's got to be our next one. Ranching here. Critter drop-off. Releases trapped critters back into the world. Critter feeding. Fish release. Fish feeder. Airborne critter bait. Grooming station. Shearing station. Ah. Right, well, that's definitely something, but it's, that's the next one that we want to do, is the agriculture one. I will get agriculture as soon as I am able to. So at the moment, we've got food poisoning. We've got chit-chat and stuff going on over here. They're having terrible meals, poor meals. They're not very happy with those. Gasping for breath. Generally speaking, they're not very happy, but they are at least... They have their assigned beds. I've got no unnecessary critters in any of the beds in there. So they're getting plenty of... The, it's low oxygen in here. Low oxygen is not good. But it's something that we can sort of live with, I think. We've got the generator working... And one of the big problems that we got with the generator at the moment... Uh, I do need another generator. I need a, a second generator to go in here so that I can start to improve the situation on there. I've got a lot of carbon dioxide here that I'm trying to bring out and I'm sort of pumping it over to that side. So we've got a little bit of carbon dioxide coming out there. We've got meal woods on here. There's the, the meal lice over there. Pollu Why have I got polluted... Oh! I got polluted water. That's, that's emitting the polluted oxygen. That's not very good. We've got plenty of... We've got oxygen in the environment here, but the polluted oxygen is not helping. Now, while they're busy picking up the dirt, and they're doing that really, really quickly, I would also like to build this mess hall. Like, the great hall, mess table, is between 32 and 120. Decor item plus 20, recreational building. See, I'm not so sure about that one. But then the mess, just the ordinary mess hall is 12 to 64. So it would be the same as that one. I could essentially just build that one directly above with a mess hall in there. And that would be fine. But it does mean that I've got to move that one. That's why I wanted to wait a second until I... I you know what? I can actually start doing this. There's no reason that I can't start laying this stuff out. We can... Ooh. Oh, that's going to be easier. Right, because I'm, I'm going to want to build it the same kind of distances apart. So I want to do those two there and those two there, like that. And then I want a pneumatic door there and a pneumatic door there. It's going to allow some circulation of air. Not going to put any more of... I suppose I could put another couple of those in, like one under there, one there, one there. No, I won't do that. I won't do that. Uh, furniture, we want the mess table in here. I want five mess tables in each section. One, two, three, four, five, like that. And then over here, one, two, three, four, five, like that. So we've got ten mess tables in there. I've got another duplicate able to come through if we want. We've got a poke shell spawn down there. 
Right, you're an ugly crier, you're a vomiter, you're a binge eater, so you are automatically disregarded. Okay, so what do you got? You got building, suit wearing, researching, diver's lungs, decreased air consumption rate, increased athletics, cannot do attacking errands because you're a pacifist. Uh, name nails to be tough, but they're all pretty huge wimps. Okay, uh, building, plus one construction... Plus one athletics, researching plus one science, operating plus seven machinery, plus seventy percent machine operation speed. That's pretty good. Uncultured, increased decor morale bonus. Cannot do decorating errands. Sculpt or paint to improve colony decor. So we can't do that. Kind of thinking that dude right there would be pretty good. The husbandry one would be nice, but your stress reaction is vomiting. I don't like that. So that one right there, I'm going to take you. Now, the problem with printing another one of these is that I'm going to need to build a new bedroom and a new mess hall in order to be able to accommodate him and get some other people as well. But I think that I need someone else in here. I think that is going to be beneficial. So I'm going to go up this way. And I'm going to have to start working on a new mess table situation on here. So we'll go with tiles. And I'll put two there. And I will put a pneumatic door in there. A pneumatic door in there. We will put two tiles in there. Then we will go to the furniture. We will put a cot in that corner. And we will take a mess table and we will put one in that corner there like that. So the new person has got somewhere that they can go. Now what I also need to do is I need to go to duplicate skills in here. Because we've got a new person who has just turned up. Improved tinkering. Well, I'm going to take that as just standard to start with. Select hat. Improved tinkering. It's the only hat that you've got so you can wear it. There. Right, we've now got a whole, we're building lax resources. Oh, that, that'd be some of these over here. We're, we're insufficient resources for a couple of different things in there. Uh, nothing that we need to concern ourselves with. How do I get more coal for the coal generator? There's something about timber somewhere. So that's another thing that we want to work on. So we've got all of these mess tables. We've got people assigned to them. They, they don't like their meals very much. But they've at least got some beds to sleep in. He's sleeping on the floor over here. He's he's late to bed, but he is at least going to get some rest. Sleeping, bed rest, pleasant chit-chat. They're, they're getting a lot of bonuses here. They're, they're actually really liking this. Uh, ventilation overlay right there. That's, that's fine. Uh, plumbing, light, materials, temperature. It's hot in here. It's comfortable throughout there. It's cold right there. It's actually not so bad here, is it? It's actually not so bad all the way through my base at the moment. We're going to... We, 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 okay. It's not so bad through most of it. Apart from over here. This, this is a bit warm over this side. So there's another, another duplicate in here. He's, he's busy doing some extra bits. So then if I go overlay a room overlay here, I've got mess hall. i got mess hall. Morale bonus. That's morale plus three for using a mess hall. Morale plus one for sleeping like that. So what does that do regarding my skills? This is, this is the important bit. Duplicate skills in here. Now, when I go and have a look at Joshua, he's actually got his morale has come up a bit. So well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for for a little while. We need to let the replicants rest. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I am just going to drag out this farewell just a tiny little bit. Just so that there is enough space and time on the screen to put up a couple lots of you absolutely wonderful supporters of the channel. You should be seeing some of your names coming up now. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.